Hey guys, bringing you a do-it-yourself computer repair video today. Uh, and the issue that I'm going to be showing you how to fix today is uh, called a no power uh, fix. Basically, your computer is either not turning on at all, or it's turning on but then turning off right away before the logo screen, or if it's turning on and then freezing right away before the, uh, the uh, logo screen, uh, where the uh, Toshiba uh, logo comes up. So that's what we're fixing here today. If, if your computer is turning on, if you can hear the motherboard clicks, if you can hear the fan kick in, but your screen is staying black, that's a different fix. Uh, look down below in, in the description for a black screen fix. Also, if your computer turns on, gets to the Toshiba logo, continues on, and then starts restarting itself in sort of a boot loop, that's the, uh, another link in the description that's a boot loop fix. So this video is specifically for when your computer doesn't turn on at all, or turns off before the logo screen, or freezes before the logo screen. Uh, now the first thing you want to do is we're going to call it a static discharge. That's the first thing we're going to try. You're going to flip your computer up. If you have a removable battery, remove it. If you don't have a removable battery, uh, then you've got to go inside. Um, and you've got to unplug your battery or you've got to take it out. If you want an example of that to show you how to get in there, there'll be a video link in the description as well on how to access an internal battery in a computer. So remove your battery, unplug your charger, which is already unplugged, right here. There we go. Yeah, so keep your charger unplugged and then hold your power button down for 60 seconds. What this does is this will drain any static in your computer. Um, oftentimes, if you've called into a, a warranty repair line, this is the first step that they have you try uh, to see if, if this step will help fix your computer. After you've held that on for a minute, plug in your adapter, put your battery back in. Plug in the charger and then tr try turning on your computer. If your computer turns on, then you know that it was a static issue. Um, if it's a static issue, try to limit the, your computer's exposure to sources of static. Try not to let your pet sleep on it. Uh, don't use it around pillows or blankets. And most importantly, make sure that your computer isn't plugged into your outlet. Make sure that it's plugged into a surge protector that's healthy, um, that's working. Uh, and, and that'll be the biggest help for this. If you have to complete that step every time you turn on your computer, uh, most likely you need to swap out your surge protector. But if your surge protector is healthy or new, then it's most likely your battery or, or, or your charger. Uh, start swapping those out because one of them may be dying and it, and it may be bleeding into your computer. So if it doesn't work at this point, then repeat the process. Uh, unplug your adapter, take your battery out again, and hold down the power button for another 60 seconds. And once you've held it down, just replace one. So I'm gonna leave my battery out, I'm gonna plug my charger back in, and I'm gonna to try to turn it on. If your computer turns on, it means your battery was bad and you need to replace it. If it doesn't turn on, we're gonna again repeat the process. So unplug the charger, leave the battery out, hold down the power button for another minute, and then this time, we're going to leave the charger out. We're going to put the battery in this time. And then you try to turn your computer on. And same thing. If your computer turns on with the battery in and the charger out, you know your charger's bad and your battery's okay. Replace your charger. If you're at this point and you've tried the static drain, you've tried uh, this test to test your charger and your battery, and your computer is still not turning on, the next thing that we're gonna do in our troubleshooting process is a BIOS reset. So look down in the description, there'll be a BIOS reset link. Uh, watch that video on how to do a BIOS reset. But this is the first series of tests you would run on a computer that's not turning on. Uh, so if you have any questions, if you had anything happen that you're unsure of, check the frequently asked questions below in the description. Uh, if you have to leave me a, a question that's not there, uh, I, I try to get back to you at least a couple times a day to help you with whatever you're going through. So uh, like and share if this was helpful. And if you enjoy do-it-yourself computer repair, uh, please subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys.